nitrogen is abundant. 78% of the air consists of nitrogen in the form of N2. This form of nitrogen is very stable, or in other words, not reactive. In addition, nitrogen is an essential element of all living beings. But before it is used by them, it has to be converted into reactive forms, such as ammonia or urea. This can be done by specialised microorganisms or in large chemical factories. Since 1890, the yearly anthropogenic production of reactive nitrogen has increased ninefold. If too much reactive nitrogen is released into the environment, it can have many negative effects. Let's see how human excreta contributes to the harmful release of reactive nitrogen into the environment. Reactive nitrogen compounds, such as urea, ammonia or nitrate, are major components of fertilisers. They are applied to the soil to increase agricultural production. Plants need nitrogen to grow, and most plants take up reactive nitrogen from the soil. Humans also need nitrogen and receive it from the food they eat. A large amount of the nitrogen we take up as food is excreted in urine together with most of the other nutrients. In fresh urine, nitrogen is present as urea. When the urine is exposed to the environment, urea is spontaneously converted by bacteria into ammonia. When large amounts of urine or wastewater reach open bodies of water, the high concentration of ammonia is toxic to fish. Also, nitrogen-containing compounds produced from ammonia can lead to massive algae blooms that can cause the destruction of aquatic ecosystems and fish stocks. If large amounts of reactive nitrogen get into groundwater, the nitrogen can be converted to nitrite and nitrate. High concentrations of both compounds are harmful to humans. Urine can also pollute the air. When urine is not properly handled and stored, it releases ammonia into the atmosphere. The degassing of ammonia can have multiple negative effects on human health and the environment. Ammonia in the atmosphere is converted into aerosols, which can travel deeply into lung tissue and cause damage. The formation of aerosols is compounded by urban emissions, such as air pollution from industry and vehicular traffic. The smell of ammonia gas is extremely unpleasant. However, this smell helps to keep us from getting poisoned by the toxic gas. Nevertheless, chronic inhalation of small concentrations can attack mucosy, eyes and the lungs and lead to respiratory illnesses. To sum up, Reactive nitrogen is valuable and important for plants and humans. That's the reason why so much is produced in chemical factories for synthetic fertiliser. Yet, if it is excreted and released in abundance into the environment, it becomes a health and environmental problem. When urine is properly stabilised, it maintains its valuable nutrients, limiting the hazardous release of nitrogen into the environment. As nitrogen from stabilised urine does not degasify, producing fertiliser from it is not harmful to humans or the environment, and it also does not have malodour. If reasonably applied, the nitrogen can be brought back to sustain human nutrition. By closing the nutrient loop, energy-intensive fertiliser production and transport can be reduced. If the production of industrial nitrogen is decreased by recovering nutrients from urine, the discharge of nitrogen into groundwater, open water and the atmosphere is also reduced. And this decreases the potential of future environmental and human health hazards caused by the overaccumulation of nitrogen in the environment. Recovering nutrients from urine to be used as fertiliser to support nutrition is a sustainable and environmentally friendly way to use these nutrients and limits the destructive effects of nitrogen.